guys, it's Amanda. Um, today I have a little bit of a clothing haul and I haven't shopped for clothes for so long. I don't know, I just hate trying things on and I never really know exactly what I'm looking for. Like, I don't know, it's like easy to shop for cute t-shirts and stuff like that. Like, you just see it, but as for everything else, like, I don't know, I've just never... I hate shopping for clothes. I know I'm a girl, I just... I don't know what it is. Something that I want to try to remember to do every video is to show you guys what nail polish I'm wearing. Right now I'm wearing China Glaze Grape Juice. Um, it's pretty nice. It's okay. It's nothing really special. I mean it's sparkly. It's really nice. I don't love it. But it's nice. It's cute. So um, yeah. Let's jump onto the clothing haul. Oh, one thing. Um, there's something that I forgot to mention in my um, like Christmas gifty haul and I mean I guess I kind of forgot to mention it because it's kind of irrelevant like it's not beauty or clothes or anything like that but it is like my favorite gift that I received and that would be my um, anniversary Christmas um, ring for my, from my boyfriend because we got together really close to Christmas, so it's an anniversary present, a Christmas present. But it's so beautiful, and I really want to show you guys, but um, I don't have it right now because it's getting sized. So please remind me to show you guys, because I really, really want you to see it. It'll be, um, you know, like over here somewhere, so if you see me talking about it and I don't show you, I'm sorry. Please ask me. So, yeah, let's just pop into the hall. It's nothing really too exciting. I mean, I'm kind of like a pretty, um, pretty laid back kind of girl. So, um, yeah, we'll just get into it. Um, first thing, whoa, is this sweater from American Eagle. And it's just a red, it's very thin material. You can probably maybe see me through it. <laughs> um, you know, it's just really cozy and nice, and I don't wear red. This is literally, literally, like the first red item of clothing or anything I think that I've ever worn. I don't know why I don't like red, I just don't like it. I just thought I'd try this on for, you know, like what the hell, try it out. And it looks really, really nice on me. And everyone always says, oh, red's so sexy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know it is. That's what I keep on hearing, but I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't know why, but I just do not like the color red. Okay. Not really going in order. I'm, I kind of laid this stuff down, like, in order of store, so. And then I got this um, purple long sleeve shirt, also from American Eagle. And it's just, again, nothing really, oh, little sticker on it. Nothing really too special, just got a cute little eagle there, you know, get it, American Eagle, I'm sure that's uh, what they were getting at there, I'm sure that was the, you know, what they were getting at. Here, Rocky, wear this little sticker on your head. Oh, you don't like it? Okay, I'll just put it over here then. And then I got two pairs of jeans. I got these, I, I went, a lot of you know that I work in the mall, so, um, I went into American Eagle on my break and I was just like looking around and then I saw so much cool stuff so I just like tried it on and put it on hold so that way I could like actually buy it when I got off. So these, um, the back pocket looks like this, nothing too special. Um, just so you know, these are, what are these? They're called Favorite Boyfriend Jeans and they are dark wash low rise. and. They do have a bit of stretch to them. They're very, very comfortable. And I was looking for kind of distressed jeans, but what do I know? Distressed is out. So, <laughs> like, distressed, I guess, is kind of like last year and done with. But um, I don't care. I really want a pair of distressed jeans. And this was about as distressed as it was going to get for me. So there's my destruction right there. But no, I really, really like the color and the wash and the fit. And um, these are in long. They're um, long style. They come in short, regular, long. I have pretty long legs, so I got long because I hate when my pants are short. Ugh. 
nasty. And then I got another pair of jeans. Very similar. The back pocket looks like this. Same style, just kind of a different color. These ones have no destruction to them at all. They're just a dark wash. And again, they're very comfortable. So these, yep, these ones say that they have a bit of stretch to them too. And I wore these today, and they are very, very comfortable. Yep. Comfy for show. What else we got here? Oh. This is just your plain long sleeve t-shirt. Um, what do you call this? Scoop? Crew neck? Line? I don't know. I don't know what the hell. I know what a v-neck is and that's about it. But um, it's just very, very simple. I just really, really love the color. Um, and also the seams. Is that what this is called? The hem, the seam? It's got really nice thread that they used with it. And like, I know it's not a big deal. But it's like kind of like a shiny purple. And I think it's really pretty. And I've never ever seen this in a shirt. Rocky, keep that down there. It's got, um, like, stitching going down there. I don't know why, but I think it's nice. Oh, this is really boring. Just a plain white cami. Got this from a store called Dynamite. That last purple shirt is also from American Eagle. This is just a plain cami. Um, because this shirt... Yeah, this bad boy right here, it's a little see-through, so didn't want none of that. Then I got this v-neck, um, kind of cardigan. I know that it's not a cardigan, because I think cardigans are supposed to have buttons, but it's just a really nice sweater, and I really liked the color, and I really liked it, and I was going to get it in like two or four colors, but I don't know. Like, when I see something that I like, I want it in every color. Like, the exact same, like, solid colors, but that's not very much variety. And then, my biggest purchase of the day, which, look, it's red. Weird, right? I don't know. I just went on a kick, and I really wanted it. This is just Lululemon sweatshirt hoodie. Oh, my gosh. These are so comfortable, and I think that they've kind of, like, changed the style I don't know because the last Lululemon hoodie that I've I have four I think I have a yellow one yellow one green one I had a gray one and then this one I guess I think that hi Rocky but my other ones were like more stiff um but this one is just like more slouchy and very very comfortable this one is um a remix, I think that's what it's called when they're like, yeah, it's remix Lulu hoodie, which is why it's like, it's, it was a little bit more expensive, and that's why, because it's kind of like a limited edition one, and I think it's really, really cute, it's kind of like a darker red, it's not quite burgundy, but it's not like ketchup, bright, bright red, you know what I mean? It's, um, look, it's a cooler toned red opposed to a warmer, slightly orangey red. See what I'm saying? But the stitching here all along, this is original to this hoodie or this style. Um, most of them don't have this at all. They have no stitching just like here and then they wouldn't have this but as this is like limited edition one, that's what makes it limited edition and cool and I'm sure you can see goes on here. It's threads, jeez. A lot of the times their hoodies are reversible. I don't know that this one is. No, it wouldn't be, I don't think so. But it's kind of, it's fleece inside and hella cozy, my friend. And the little symbol here is pink. So, I don't know. This reminds me of Valentine's Day because it's pink and red. and It's got a little silver lining here. Not that silver has anything to do with Valentine's Day, but I don't know. And funny thing, I was shopping with my boyfriend today and everything that was like salmon color, he'd be like, Oh, this is nice. I like this color. I'm like, I don't. I hate salmon color. I don't know. <laughs> He's silly. But yeah, so those are my purchases. And I hope you enjoyed. And by the way, today is January 1st, so Happy New Year, everyone. Um, have a happy 2009 for me and Rocky. Bye.